Before we go any further, I think we should get our proton packs. Huh? Good idea. on Thacker, and seeing as how last year, we looked at the wacky, wonderful, whimsical world of anime Christmas specials, I thought this year, we would take a look at the spooky, spine-tingling world of animated Halloween specials. Halloween is, for a large majority of children, but even adults, the best time of the year, or at the very least, the spookiest. And animated Halloween specials are just a piece from that bowl of candy. So today we're looking at three, Halloween is Grinch Night, Scared Shrekless, and Toy Story of Terror. After all, what better way to celebrate Halloween? Halloween is Grinch Night is a 1977 animated Halloween special that serves as a prequel to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And we get to see what the Grinch does on Halloween. Unlike in Christmas, where Boris Karloff voiced the Grinch and the narrator, the Grinch and the narrator this time were voiced by Hans Conried, as Boris Karloff had sadly passed away by this time. It was written by Dr. Seuss, and I like it. It's no How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but it doesn't try to be. It just tries to be a spooky, fun Halloween special with the Grinch. It has good animation, fine songs, creative visuals, but this is Dr. Seuss, so I kind of expected that. What more could you really ask for at a Grinch Halloween special? Although it does create one timeline problem with How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's near the end, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. But other than that, I think it's an underrated Halloween special. And maybe you'll add Halloween's Grinch Night onto your list of Halloween specials to watch every year. Scared Shrekless. I'm surprised it got away with that title. Released in 2010, Scared Shrekless shows Shrek and his friends celebrating Halloween. The best way, of course, by sharing three scary stories. The animation is good, there's honestly some pretty good jokes. And generally the spooky atmosphere fits Shrek pretty well. Definitely better than Christmas. The three stories are parodies of horror movies, Night of the Living Dead, Psycho, The Exorcist, all which are honestly pretty enjoyable. The voice actors all return, of course they're great, and we even need to return to a spooky Duloc. This really does feel like an actual Shrek Halloween special. Unlike a lot of animated Halloween specials, which just feel like studio executives making a holiday special based on a popular animated franchise. If you like Shrek and like Halloween, which I'll take it, most of you probably do, then I definitely recommend giving this a watch. Toy Story of Terror. The toys find themselves being picked off one by one while staying the night at a motel. This is the best out of the three. It's also been Toy Story I time forgot. Released in 2013, Toy Story of Terror is honestly really good. It has the same Toy Story level of quality, just spooky. It has a general creepy atmosphere that works honestly pretty well. And of course it's animated greatly, and there's a lot of you new unique characters. We have Jesse as a main character, which we don't get too often. While still getting a decent amount of everybody's favorite characters, Woody, Buzz, etc. All the cast returns, and to no one's surprise, they're fantastic. And just a little thing, but they make good use of Buzz's glow in the dark feature. That's not used nearly enough, and I always love when it is. If you want more Toy Story in your life, and a generally good Halloween special, then please go watch Toy Story of Terror. Even if you already have, go watch it again, because it's really good. And with that, we end off 8 tober 2024. I hope everybody enjoyed and was thoroughly spooked. I can't wait to see you back here next year. Same spooky time, same spooky channel. And happy Halloween. Also, if you enjoyed this video, think you're liking and subscribing. And join the subreddit, the Discord server. Bye, guys for now. Bye, guys, girl, Thacker.